damp spots on the wicket. As a result of early morning dew and overwatering by the groundsman, he laid the start of the match by an hour. India were lucky again with the coin and they elected to bat. There were no changes for Pakistan after their stunning victory at Jamshedpur and they play the same team that beat India. There are two changes for India. The out of form Irfan Pathan and the injured Harbhajan Singh have been left out and Lakshmi Pati Balaji and Murli Kartik have taken their place. We join the match right at the start. Your commentators Ravi Shastri and Amir Sohail. Sevak the man on strike. Runs for Sevak through the offside. 2-2 two, two and the over, that's the score after one. Tendulkar on his way, starts off with a boundary. No ball signal, just drifting on the leg stump. And that was nicely played. It was a loosener from uh, Rana Navi. No effort in that. He was just looking to ball on a good line of length, but drifted towards the pads, and such a Tendulkar is off. No oh. ball put away for four. That was juicy. And Tendulkar has helped himself. Seems like after uh, having the adjustment made. With the side screen, he saw the ball very early. Played it beautifully and into the gap. Picked up his second boundary. Beautiful timing. Third boundary for Tendulka. And the good thing was he wasn't really reaching out for the ball. He, was, he allowed the ball to come onto the bat. And concentrated on placement and timing. Well, he attempted a similar kind of a stroke at Jamshedpur, and the result was he was caught in the slips because of the lack of the bounce on this one and the slowness of the pitch. He was able to execute that stroke beautifully through covers. That's beautifully played again. This is loose stuff from Rana, and it gets the treatment this time at Sevag. He's looking for movement. There's no movement there. And just drifting onto the pads. This is looking to bowl line and length. We, we are seeing no aggression from uh, Rana Navid. In the last few games, he was very aggressive. He was bending his back. But in this particular game, he's just looking to bowl line and length. And I think it's not helping the cause of Pakistani team. He has to be aggressive. They have to pick up early wickets on this kind of a track to create some sort of a pressure on the team. Nicely played. This is going fine. Samir doing very well. Two runs is the result. Now, we talked about the uh, pace of the surface and... Uh, the way Tendulkar was dismissed in the last game. Now, this is Jamshedpur. So, he didn't have the time. Extra bounce that did him. There was a little bit of movement as well. He was looking to punch it in front of point. Now, that's the pace of the surface. Now, this is the last over. He had ample time to play a similar shot. So, Inzamam just having a chat with uh, Rana Navid. See some alterations in the field. Fine leg up now. There's a man who's dropped back. Deep backwards swelling on the boundary. The short mid wicket as well. So, very quickly, Inzamam realizing that uh, there has to be some adjustments made. Seeing the pace of this track and the bounce. 
Well, you must have spoken to Rana Navi that you have to bowl one line in length. They cannot afford to bowl both sides of the stumps. He cannot give him the cushion. And now he has decided to bowl just on the off stump. That's pummeled through the offside. With an offer and Sevag onto it in a flash. Meaty blow. Off some blind he has to bowl. And there is this equation, plenty of room outside the off stump. And not much cushion. Square of the wicket on the offside. Easy pickings for Varinda Sevag. Picked up his second boundary of the over. One on the onside, square of the wicket, and the other one, square on the offside. It's bowling all over the place, Rana Navid. For the... All over the shop, you said. Well, this is tough uh, for Enzamam now. Runs on both sides of the wicket. You can't set a field then. He's got to bowl a line. He's been clipped off the pads three times already in this innings he's been hit through the offside twice and with fine leg up that's uh, hardly the line you can afford to bowl good placement very risky from Sevak will get another boundary 39 for no loss Two for Seba. And also the fielding restrictions now will apply for 14 overs. It was a good balling from uh, Rana Naveed and also good captaincy from Nzamamul Haq. After removing the slip fieldsman, he was needed to bring that third man fieldsman a bit finer. Still staying very square. That's true. And it will be four. Late adjustment by Tendulkar. The ball wasn't really coming onto the bat. At the very last minute, uh, he's opened the face of the blade. Waited and uh, then got the placement right. Not an easy shot to play on this kind of a track. Waited on it and then in the end, opened the face of the bat and picked up his fourth boundary. It's a single down to third man. That should be runs for Tendulkar. I thought it would be four, but uh, the outfield, as I said, in patches is quite thick. Now, I tell you, this is a heartening side. It might look a risky shot. But you're seeing a different Tendul career. The approach is different. It's not like he's letting Sehwag do all the scoring, the risk taking. He's taken the initiative in this partnership. That's good to see. Ball got just a little big on him. Intentions are very clear. He was going to clear the infield over mid on or mid off. But Rana Naveed pulled it quite cleverly in the end. Pitched it just a little bit short. <laughs> Played it fine down to third man, and it's four. Third man fielder, a bit too wide. Nicely played by Tendulkar. That's an important position where Mohammad Sami is fielding. He's very quick, but he's got to adjust and adjust. He must do because there's no slip in place now. So there's a huge area where Sachin Tendulkar can really maneuver the ball quite easily. All it required was an edge, healthy edge intentional and he knew exactly where Mohammed Sami was look where he is very square still very square you want him uh, to be a little finer than that the length cannot be short when you've got a fine leg inside the circle he's flirting with danger he's also looking to bowl the middle stump line I don't think this is the right field for Rana Naveed 
this is also another problem that the fielding sides have in when they lose the toss and uh, field first because you're not looking for those wickets once you establish an opening partnership then you're looking to defend so he's not looking to hit the right links where he can pick up wickets he's looking to defend and in that negative frame of mind you can easily go for more runs Oh, he could be in trouble here. Hari Haran has called for the third umpire, but Sehwag is walking. He's walking towards the dressing room. He knows he's out. We'll still have to wait for the official verdict. What fantastic work by Yunus Khan. He had earlier tried this also, but failed because he got the Sehwag in his way. But this time, what a strike. Brilliant, brilliantly done. What presence of mind, what brilliant cricket from Yunus Khan. The red light is on, he's gone. India lose their opener. 65 for one. Gone for 29. Next time you travel. Experience the change. Mahendra Singh Dhoni walks in at number three. Good start. Good way to get off the mark. We've got to say very unprofessional on the part of Virinder Sehwag. Normally, he's alert to everything that's happening around him but this time I think he was surprised that the throw came in it seemed like at the last minute he saw the ball and then got the shock of his life he wasn't expecting perhaps Yunus Khan to have another shy considering that he was again in the way in the path Can punch nicely on the offside for four. Boni on the move, 72 for one. Great shot. This time he was. Nicely set up for that line outside the off stump. Look at the margin for error for the bowler. He's just a foot away from that middle stump. And it's cost him four runs. This was thumped by Dhoni. Not to the pitch. It didn't require uh, to be to the pitch. Just a clean bat swing through the line. Great shot again. It's another four consecutive boundaries to finish the over. It's 82 for one. You can already see now. Oh, misunderstanding. He has to hurry. It's gone, I think. This could be a second run out. The, the Pakistan team, the body language suggests that Dhoni might just have reached home. But it's always going to be touch and go. Big hesitation. Yes, no, yes. Ah, he's in. He's in. 
only just needed a direct hit there but take a look at the fact that what a difference a direct hit makes almost a yard Dhoni's in but a direct hit would have had him in trouble that's through again four more for Dhoni really he's so severe on anything outside the off stump I think they've got to employ the same tactics as they did to Sehwag they've got to keep the ball absolutely on the stumps anything outside the off stump and Dhoni's going to crack it length is important too they've got to be short of a length and straight he's come out with uh, a mandate go out and uh, beat the ball and he's doing exactly that Well See, it's a very awkward line. We've seen Tendulkar bowling uh, this line in the one-day series, and he's put the brakes on Pakistan. He's looking to hit those uh, areas outside the leg stump. It makes Tendulkar do something different, and he smashed it into the crowd. Gave himself room. Didn't allow Afridi to settle down. Midon was up, and he took a chance. Well, it's not often that you see that the wicket that's fallen is Seva again. The momentum has stayed the same. Run rate has also been the same. But really, the test is now when the ball gets old, as Ravi was saying, this 15th to the, maybe the 35th over. It's important. The ball's going to hold up a bit. But this man is now the danger man for Pakistan, Sachin Tendulkar. He's got a start. That again may be wide. Yes, it is. This is going to hurt Afridi because every over, if he's going to give a couple of deliveries, this line, you've got to be immaculate in your line if you're bowling from round the wicket. A couple of extra balls in every over can really do damage. It's good running. I think uh, what's important is sensible cricket now. It's not going to be easy to play the big shots. So it's important you run hard between the wickets. 12 extras bowled, so that's two extra overs already. Dhoni is an aggressive runner between the wickets as well. And that's good to see. Because then that will get the fielders at the edge of that 30 yard circle to come in. Well, ball, shall buy. Yes, yes, shall buy. Sure End of the over. It's 105 for one. It's 107 for one. Take a look at that now. They're jam packed in there. Oh, yeah. This ground is full, it's brimming with people. But there is a lot of work that's been done here. There is a new stand. Opposite to the pavilion. They've put a another single. I think that's the pattern of the game which is going to develop. They're going to try and get three or four singles every over. There's a lot of work done on the east stand as well. This has got a covering, so that gives them a lot of shade viewing that. So half the stadium is now, more than half the stadium is now covered. There's only the west stand which isn't and that's this new stand that's come up. And that is wonderful. The GMDC end. Looks beautiful. They're lovely boxes as well. Wonderful angle to view cricket from. 
I think you mentioned about that cover uh, on the top of the stand. So there's some shade. Even this area is going to be covered up, they say, and uh, by the time the next match starts, or maybe in a couple of years, so important that you uh, look into the interests of the spectators as well. It's 1-1-1-4-1. One, 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 one. Just a single. He's on 46, Tendulkar. He'll be happy he's got some runs under the belt. He's uh, spent some time at the crease. And uh, Arun, you were talking about uh, the stands and the covering. Oh, absolutely, Ravi. Now, these people, although they're thronging the stadiums, but their facilities for them have to be upgraded. It should really be mandatory to have a covering. Because if you're playing cricket at times like this in April, if you think it's tough for the, the cricketers, spare a thought for them. The sun is sort of bearing down on them. They don't even have a chance to move around. It keeps attacking them front on. So really, to see one side of the stadium that's got a covering, it's a step in the right direction. I think it, the entire stadium should have these kind of facilities. Yeah, it's a pretty sight here. I think uh, you must uh, commend the Gujarat Cricket Association. At least they've, they've made an effort. You can see the roof here. There's a new pavilion. Uh, there's a new stand on the other side. put uh, 50 on the board and the batsman well, naturally thinks he's uh, on 50 he could change his game now he's definitely uh, on 50 officially a 50 for Tendulkar and this partnership also crossing 50 Yes, the batsman should be given the credit, but also the Pakistanis, they didn't bowl very well. It seemed like they lacked a, a certain kind of a plan on this kind of a pitch. Some fire was missing from the opening bowlers of the Pakistani team. Good shot. But straight to the fieldsman, only a single. Yeah, like you suggested, uh, there were too many runs scored uh, in that particular area, the third man. And that shows uh, uh, the Pakistani captain didn't read the pitch very well. Death touch from Sachin Tadulka. A bit of width outside the off stump and that was a quickest delivery. The off spinner from Shahid Afridi allowed Sachin Tadulka to use the pace of that ball on a slow track. Waited on it. And then placing it beautifully away from the thirdsman, fieldsman for another boundary. Few more runs in that third man area with that last boundary. It's been a heavy scoring area for the Indians. A lot of fielding sides have realized that it's very difficult to stop runs sometimes, especially against spinners in the third man area. So they put a slip fielder, not so much to take a catch, just to stop those fine cuts and the late cuts that the batsmen play for runs. on a pitch like this as a bowler you have to force the batsman into playing everything on the front foot hasn't been the case they've been sitting pretty on their back foot and placing the ball into the gaps for singles and boundaries 137 for one India again that uh, typical Dhoni forcing shot on the offside get a single well, that accentuates the point we made earlier. You've got to force the batsman into playing on the front foot. 
This is a slow track. And whenever Dhoni has been forced to playing on the front foot, he has struggled. Anything which is pitched short on this one, very easy for the batsman to actually place into the gaps and picking up singles. Anything pitched back of the length can be manoeuvred easily because uh, it allows a lot of time to the batsman to place the ball anywhere they want to. Razak has bowled extremely well. Just 17 runs from 5.4 overs and he's getting lateral movement. Now that's interesting. There's nothing in the pitch to suggest that uh, the bowlers, the seamers would get sideways movement from the pitch. Well, Razak, every ball that is hit the seam, it's got uh, some kind of a lateral movement. That's an ideal pitch for Abdul Razak. He's not very express with his pace. He's a kind of a bowler who likes to pitch the ball in the right areas without making any effort. And because of the slowness, he's been very effective on this pitch. Forcing the batsman to play on the front foot. Single to end the over, 141 for one. He's gone up in the air. And he's got the distance. The second six of the match. Not quite from the middle of the bat, but he's a strong man, Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Brave tactics from Dhoni. He knows uh, the captain has introduced him into the attack, not only to pick up wickets, but also to keep the scoring rate in control. He reacted well, attacked Danish Canaria. And picked up the six. Like you said, it wasn't timed well. But it was the power of Dhoni. And as we know that he drinks four liters of milk every day. That suggests everything. Good shot. It's gone very fine. It's not the quickest outfield. The 150 comes up for India. I think for me, this is a very important stage. Danish Kaneria might make things happen. The Indians have to respect him for his uh, skills as a leg spinner. Third 50 coming off 66 balls. They just look to go after him uh, blindly. And there could be a danger of uh, losing a couple of wickets as well because this pitch will turn and Kaneria has a test match bowler's temperament so he's always going to look for wickets. But they have already forced him to change his line and length. Well done, he's away. And the tactics employed by the Indian batsmen, they are very good. <laughs> they know the importance of this spell from Danish Canaria. A re reverse sweep. It's a strong hit from Sachin Tendulkar. Almost carried that uh, for a six. <laughs> that was vicious. It wasn't a paddle which we're used to seeing in reverse sweeps. But take a look at this for a reverse sweep. I've seen him play left handed in the nets also, Rami. So he's quite ambidextrous, this man, Tendulkar. That is a severe hit. Played that late, that should go the distance. There's a fielder herring after it, he just cuts it off. Restricting it to just two. It's 163 for one. Down the track, raises the 100 run partnership with a lovely boundary. This is good aggressive cricket from Sachin Tendulkar. Little predetermined, trying to shake him off his line and length. Razak causing some worries for them. A little bit of risk there. The old-fashioned slog. He saw him coming, pitched it short, but Sachin was up to it. Managed to hit it into the gap. Four good runs. Edge will get him a boundary. It's a no ball as well. 
Pakistan have been pretty ragged in that department. This is going to hurt. It was a good delivery, found the outside edge, went for four. But it's the no ball which is the big problem. He's been getting the ball to move. Well, that's a healthy edge, carrying for four. That's a biggie. It's Shahid Afridi who's trying to get underneath that one. That's hit the cameraman. Now that has hit our cameraman. And he's down. Poor chap is down now. It was a bad hit. Dhoni has played a lovely shot. He had to miss Shweb Malik. He was positioned there at shot fine. Played it extremely fine. Really just paddled it almost behind the wicket keeper. This is a ingenious shot. Very creative indeed. But there's a lot of turn as well. He's run well between the wickets. He is not uh, tiring. He's been very purposeful in this innings. He had a mission to accomplish and uh, seems to be very close of accomplish, accomplishing that mission. Oh, missed it. It's a let off for Dhoni. Kamran Akmal not gripping the ball. Really, that should have been over and done with. Down the track, a simple take. Akmal really not with his eyes on the ball. Didn't glove it at all. It probably hit him on his left thumb. But that's a let off for Dhoni in India. Pakistan have got to take their chances. They've missed Dhoni a couple of times to run out hits. Three times, in fact. Sachin Tendulkar on 97. Crescendo building here. The stadium. Will not be rushed into uh, getting there. He's worked hard for uh, all his runs. He's looked very focused. India wanted him to uh, get back into good hitting form. And in this innings, he's been very impressive. There you see, 98 from 103 balls. Dhoni will come back for the second. No, he won't. I think Sachin slipped on the return. They've run a lot. They've run some very fast singles. It is warm there. It must be taking its toll on Sachin as well. But he's played a terrific and what a comeback for him. I'm only saying that relatively because of the standards that he sets for himself. It's difficult to keep him quiet. He's doing it in singles. You're not going to be able to bowl a dot ball to him now. Tendulkar on 99, Dhoni on 47, just three away from uh, his 50. What a good knock he's played. They've gone for the appeal and yes, given out, caught behind. Good catch by Kamran Akmal. He redeems himself very quickly. After missing a sitter behind the stumps, he's taken a beauty. Now, those catches are not easy. You're blinded by the batsman's shadows, the pads, the body. Good take. Yes, indeed, and you've got to be moving onto your left side, down the leg side. There will be some deviation off the bat. Beautifully taken. Oh, just about. Taken on the second attempt, but he's got it all the same. He would be a relief man. Kamal Dhoni gone for 47. The wicket that Pakistan needed. 194 for two. Bit of bat. 
He gets there. His 38th one day hundred. Remarkable achievement. Absolutely, and what a time to come back into form. Very important game, and he's struggling a bit. This is 100 after 16 innings for Sachin Tendulkar. Now he's cramping up. Both his fingers, his hands, arms, just tightening up. Luck has deserted him. His form has deserted him. Lacks confidence. That's pressure. But you're right, from the perspective of this particular game, it would be good if he plays his natural game. And he's off the mark straight away. And Zamam had cleverly uh, got a slip in place for him. So they know uh, that he is under stress. They want to attack him early on in the innings. Catch it. Mohammed Sami is after it. But he's nowhere near the ball. Miss it, giving Sachin Tendulkar a couple of runs. That uh, appeared to be a tired shot from Sachin. Well, the good thing about it was that he was targeting the straight field. Definitely tired, definitely feeling the cramps setting in. Now run on a weed. And that's four. He did that in his first spell, drifted too often onto the pads. Still feel uh, Inzama might have been better off uh, getting a spinner, someone like Danish Canaria. Yeah, especially with the fact that Sachin Tendulkar is struggling with the cramps. He's been there for a long time now. And under these conditions, if you see how the ball has changed on the condition of the players, it's just like the ball. Very, very. Getting a spinner into attack would have been a very good option. Here with the fast bowlers, the batsman can really use the pace of the ball and hit the ball into the gaps. But with the spinners, you really have to use your force, energy to get the ball going. Gave him the charge, no ball signal. He got leg by signal as well. Look for two. And Dulkavilatwari Ganguly says no. There was two there. And Dulka wanted to. I think he's struggling. Tendulka is struggling at the moment with cramps. He wants the strike. Well done, run away. Ball again. So the pressure now back on the Indian captain. He's on strike. But that's what he's required to do. Look to pick up a single, give the strike to Sachin Tendulkar, who's been there for a long time. Well, struck outside the line. The intention was to just paddle it around the corner, leg by signal. stroke suggested to me that he is tired the final leg is rightly placed at the boundary line in this situation of the game and Sachin Tendulkar trying to play that ball towards final leg mm. yes he's looking for some second win and I, I get the feeling he's just biding his time for another two three overs before he again launches himself into the Pakistan attack now that's gone away fine so the first boundary for Ganguly That'll make him feel a lot better, just drifting onto the pads. Uh, 
have a look at the reaction of Saraf Ganguly. Showing the umpire that don't make a mistake here. I've finally got a boundary. Great chance for India here to bat Pakistan out of the game. But at the moment, looks highly unlikely because Sachin Tendulkar is suffering from the cramps and then Saraf Ganguly is completely out of form. He's just playing in there to regain his form and the overs they are taking by. And that's good for Pakistan. And that's the tiredness showing on Sachin Tendulkar. And the Pakistanis, they should capitalize that. As you can see now, he's not looking to hit down the ground because uh, he's tired, he's cramping up, he's looking to use the pace of the bowler and just ride him on either side of the wicket. Try and get runs behind the wicket. Oh, that's gone through. To wait for the umpire signal here. In fact, uh, runs of the bat. Tendulkar was moving away down the leg side. Afridi followed him and paid the price. 2.36 for two. out of 28 deliveries down the track and another stumping goes to ground a great opportunity here for Kamran Akmal and he's feeling the heat Ranguli was looking for the big one and Shoaib Malik deceived him here in flight Pretty straightforward. A run out. Oh, has he made it in time? Rudy Kurtzson will call for the TV umpire. Seems like Ganguly may have made it. But Yunus Khan thinks otherwise. Shweb Malik, you threw the ball. And I think it's gone. He is gone. That bat that probably not grounded. Kamran Akmal with the bails off. He's short of the crease. So he'll have to leave the crease. His red light is on. He wasn't aware. He thought he had made it. So he was surprised when the red light came on. In fact, he was planning in the next... Uh, few overs with the Indulkar when the red light came on. Another look, it was, was a simple decision for the third umpire. Short of his trees, so Ganguly run out for 80, 242 for 3. Rahul Dravid is the next man in. 250th one day match for Dravid. Gets off the mark right away. Malad! There'll be some urgency between uh, the wickets now. Fitness is the question here whether he has that in him to create those shots. Reverse sweep. Get a single. It's 2.46 for three. Bowl him, bowl round the legs, and Shoaib Malik has struck. And Tendulkar has played a superb innings here, 123 before cramps got to him. In the last five or six overs has been a real struggle. It's been a while since I've seen him play the way, the way he has done in this innings. It's not just about the 100, he's just played attacking cricket right through the innings and that was good to see. Well, uh, throwing his wicket away, he was tired, a tired shot in the end. But a brilliant knock. They all clap for the little master. 
It has been uh, a masterful innings from Sachin Tendulkar. Gone for 123, 248 for four. Yuvraj Singh uh, has come in. Hasn't really got the opportunities so far in this one-day series. Hasn't got the big scores. He gets off the mark. He's going to look for two. In fact, he was just about to come back and then as an afterthought, but just in time for Dravid saying no. Almost hit Mohammed Sami with his return. It was Rana Naveed who threw the ball hard. And there you see Mohammed Sami going for that cover. Well played by Dravid. Boundary at the right time for India. It's 2.54 for four. Another loose delivery, another boundary, and the pattern continues. Amazes me to see Shahid Afridi come and bowl in the last few overs. They don't seem to have a plan, especially when they're bowling first up. Go on the defensive very early. And, uh, they don't bowl those wicket-taking deliveries. Second time around, they're more focused. They look for those wickets, and they've got the potential really to pick wickets it saddens me to see Pakistan when they do not play to their potential and the potential is to pick wickets to create a little bit more aggression out there for themselves they've played Canaria they have not used him well they've got Sami and uh, Rana Naveed, who can be brisk with their pace, they've not come back for a spell in our last good 40 odd minutes or so. I think the problem, Ramiz, is uh, once they lose the toss, the whole focus is to keep India under 300. That's what uh, Inzamam thinks about. So it's all about keeping the runs down, going on the defensive very quickly with one obsession to keep India under 300. 261 for four. Great shot. This is such an outstanding shot. Three fielders deep on the leg side. He manages to find the gap. Not such an outstanding ball from Shweb Malik. There you see uh, almost a half trekker. And Yuvraj Singh has just arrived. If you feed him there, he's going to put you away for runs. Terrific shot. Two fielders deep, square on the leg side. And Dravid piercing those two fielders for another very good four. It's a wrong line. You can't afford to bowl in the pads of Rahul Dravid because he's so good in that area and further to bowl a length delivery at this stage is criminal. That's an easy boundary for Rahul Dravid. That's why this man is so dangerous. Have a look at this shot. What can you do as captain? It's a length ball and that's a dangerous thing to do when you've got Yuvraj Singh at the other end. Yes, it allowed him to swing the bat and hit through the line because it was the length delivery from Mohammed Sami. So he's not learned from his past mistake. Turning out to be one expensive over. 11 runs of this over. It's 280 for four. He's going to look for two. In fact, Dravid will come back. It's not a good throw. It's a comfortable second run. Here is another case of Ramiz where uh, Shoaib Malik has just bowled a couple of overs too many. 
and that's been the scenario of this uh, Pakistan performance every bowler in their spell has perhaps bowled an over too much he is thinking he has been pretty flat today Pakistan think tank has not uh, thought out a well-planned strategy few more runs in that third man area the second reverse sweep being played by Dravid for runs has come back for the third Yuvraj Singh Rudy Kurtzen deciding against having a look at that stop by Shahid Afridi. This is the sliding stop. Just have a look at that back foot. Did it touch? Yes, it did. Rudy Kurtzen. I think quickly somebody is on the walkie-talkie. I think that's a, that's a good idea. That's the kind of help that you need from the third umpire who's watching exactly what we are watching. And I think uh, they've just got the attention of Hari Haran to say that that was for Rudy Kurtzen didn't feel the need to but that's a good overall team umpiring big one but not big enough straight to the fielder it's Rana Naveed in the deep and David perishes in an attempt to up the tempo but he's made his contribution Shoaib Malik gets another wicket he may have picked up three wickets Shoaib Malik but he has been uh, very expensive ragged no balls wides and even a wicket at this stage really will not be able to lift the spirits of the Pakistan team because they've given away far too many easy runs gone for 19 288 for 5 India Mohamed Kaif is batting at number seven for India. So I think he's got to get used to this idea. He's come in with just about two overs to go. If Rasing will get a single, he'll keep the strike. 289 for five. Whatever the state of the pitch, if you have a target around 300, it is extremely difficult. Even on a good batting track, if you're asked to get uh, 300, 300 or 5 or 10, it becomes doubly difficult. That pressure of 6 and over right from the first ball can get to you. Doesn't matter whether you have uh, the Shweb Maleks or the Afridis stacked up in your batting lineup. They all have to get going at a fast pace. In fact, it's gone all the way. Tremendous hit from Mohamed Kev. The mid on was up. Hari Haran taking no chances. He's on the walkie talkie to confirm this hit, whether it's a four or a six. It lands on the skirting, so that's a six. Unless. The third umpire feels that it's just bounced before hitting the skirting, but it seems like it's just landed on the rope. So according to the new rules, it lands on the rope. It's got to be six, but uh, I think they reckon that it may have just bounced before the skirting. Ball in. The two extremes of the game. Four of the first ball. The next ball, the stump lying flat on the ground. Very good delivery from Ahmad Sami. It was a fast Yorker and that you have to bring out from your armory at this stage of the game. The Yorkers, the slow deliveries if you want to survive. Beautifully bold. Top delivery. Gone for 5, 296 for 6 India. Zaheer Khan has been in good hitting form in this series. He's played some uh, nice cameos for India. Once again, he finds the gap. How he does that is beyond me. Brings up the 300. And Yuvraj Singh is playing a terrific innings. How Shweb Malik is still bowling, Sanjay, is beyond me. This is pretty ordinary stuff from the off spinner. Yeah. 
once again in that area Yunus Khan quickly on the ball they come back for the second Zama made a promise to Shoaib Malik before the match that I'll bowl you your full quota of overs. So he's not bowled his Dusra. I think he can't bowl his Dusra because he's not very comfortable with it. So it's become uh, pretty predictable for the batsman. Great hitting. This is uh, just tremendous hitting from Yuvraj Singh. Such a valuable one-day batsman for India. He comes at difficult stages. And this is outstanding talent on display. He's moved to 33 of 23 balls. As I said, Shweb Malik has become predictable because he can't bowl his Dusra. The ball not spinning away from Yuvraj. So he had the confidence really to go, go against the spin. And what a good shot. 33 from uh, just 23 balls now they've got four fielders on the leg side deep goes in that same area again but this time it's I think leg buys Zahir Khan wants to come back for the third but uh, Yuvraj Singh feels that he should be taking strike so two leg buys 12 runs so far from this last over And a dot ball. In Zima. Well, he's resigned to the fate that he has to look at around 315, 320. Oh, it's just getting worse for Pakistan. Before Wides. And then extra ball, 312 on the board with, uh, in fact, 313 on the board with one more ball to go. Smart cricket from Yovraj, very dumb from Shweb Malik. It amazed his captain. Those tactics, I'm not sure I can comprehend them. 17 runs of the over so far. He's going to come back for the second Zahir Khan. So two runs of the last ball. That's 19 runs of the last over. And India have got 315 on the board. And mind you, this is a 48 over match. That's a secure total for India. Tendulkar was the star. 123 of 130 balls. Dhoni gave uh, good support to Tendulkar, 47 of 64. The decisive uh, blow in the end was Ivrat Singh getting uh, those runs, 35 of 26. Well, Rami is uh, bowling uh, figures for Pakistan. Nothing to comment on. All very, very ordinary, except for Abdul Razak. India have got the target that they're looking for, 315 for eight from 48 overs at 6.58 runs per over. Salman Bhatt already fresh from 100 so he'd like to carry on from where he left in Jamshedpur. But I think the key man is uh, this man. He's still to fire in the one-day series. There he goes. Off the mark with the boundary. It's 10 for no loss. That's a good shot. Very good shot. The short, wide, asking to be hit. You still had to put it away. He's done well there, Salman, but. Now this is a cracker of a shot. He didn't try to keep it down, just got into a position very quickly, cut short, and he played it right over 
the infield for four. Gets the single. You see Dinesh Mongia feeling there. He's feeling for Sachin Tendulkar. He's not on the field. Tendulkar making 123. We saw him really struggling towards the end of his innings. Cramping up all over the place. Needed a runner. Shahid Afridi, he's on four. He looked to get after Nera in the previous over without success. Oh, he goes for this one. That is a monster blow. That's Afridi for you. Only fractionally short, but he's heaved it in front of mid wicket. God, monster is right. Just take a look at that. What a cracking shot. On the rise, it wasn't even that short. In fact, this was the ideal length actually targeted for a freebie. In fact, they would be wanting to bowl this kind of a length to him. And take a look at that. Well, a six and a boundary. He could set this uh, stadium ablaze if he's there for 15 overs. Edged and between first and second slip. Nera is not happy. Pakistan will take that. 26 for no loss. It's up. And it goes. One bounce over the rope. This is what I can't understand. If you're going to bowl that length to Afridi, you've got to have one of your fielders either at long off or at long on. You've got the fine leg up, but then you've got a deep square leg instead, and then you bowl this length. He's just waiting for this. This is what he does best. And if he can be allowed to play straight over the top, he's going to really make you pay for it. Yes, and if you're fractionally short, it's uh, this pitch is not on the quicker side, so he'll still get you in front of mid-wicket or front of square. Walked away on the onside for a single. Like I mentioned, Pakistan need about 100 runs in the first 15 to set this game up. Well, if he stays for 15 overs, then uh, can be rest assured that score will be over 100 in the region of 120, 130 maybe. That's a very good shot. It's into quick position. He walks it on the onside. It's uh, good to have a right hand, left hand batting combination out there. Off the back foot. He just punched it into the gap. That's a good shot. Played it late, played it along the ground, and played it into the gap. That's in the air. Just out of the reach of the fielder. In fact, it's gone for six. Can you believe it? First impression was it was a miss hit. Afridi is looking at the bottom of his bat. It may have hit the bottom of the bat, but it's cleared the ground comfortably. Really, this has got to be an amazing hit. You're absolutely right. It did hit the bottom. It was the splice. It had enough elevation for us to think that the fielder might be interested but take a look at that it's a massive blow now he's been pinned there that's hit the helmet I think and this is good trigger the aggression from Nera really looking to go after the bowler so a short ball being bowled Straight on the uh, side of the helmet, he was early into the shot. There's no second slip, and that'll find the boundary. It's been a little unlucky, Nera. A 
That's the second time he's found the edge, but not the fielder. This was a genuine catch for second slip, had there been one, but there isn't. There's always this dilemma in the minds of the captain, whether he should keep a second slip or he should keep that fielder blocking runs on the offside. That man has already saved four, that's for sure. That man square, Brinder Sehwag on the offside. That's a lovely shot. Gets into great position to hit it in front of square. And the 50 comes up for Pakistan in quick time. 50 for no loss. That ball also swung. And pretty ordinary effort in the field. I think it's Ashish Nehra who's let his bowler down. was this edge from Afidi, the ball flew in his direction but he'd be disappointed with this effort, Ashish Nehra. Again getting the ball to swing wasn't uh, controlled well by Shahid Afridi outside edge and he's not a quick uh, runner, Ashish Nehra. Short and put away. You just cannot afford to bowl that length to him, he can murder you. It's a dream delivery for Shahid Afridi. It's short, it's outside the off stump. No swing at all. He's just banged that in short, Balaji. The second boundary of the over. This goes to show the importance of fielding. Had that earlier ball been not, not misfielded by Ashish Nehra, Afridi would not have been on strike. This time more conventional through the offside. This is beautifully hit. Mongia collects the ball. That's been come back for three. That was nicely stroked. Beautiful shot. Came from the middle of the bat. The balance was excellent. Baladi had decided again swinging the ball. He's gone to that short of length. Beautifully played. Full face of the bat in the direction of the shot. That does it for you as a batsman. Goes for the big one. It's a biggie. Went high in the air, but didn't go across over the boundary rope. Nothing can deter Shahid Afridi. He's going to back his natural game, and that is to hit the ball hard. It's not a big hit, it's a very tall hit. This goes up in the air. You can see he almost got a leading edge. Hitting the outer half of the bat. Tends to play across the line. He was looking to go over mid-wicket. Just got to get it full, get it to swing. It's the way to trouble Afridi. You need to have a big heart. Balaji has one. He was uh, brave enough to pitch another one. Pretty close to Afridi. It wasn't short. And you have to be brave enough to be as reckless as Afridi. Why would you want to really take that route of playing across the line to a ball that is pitched wide outside your off stump? That is how he plays. So doesn't matter. That's in the air. That'll be taken. It's Sachin Tendulkar who says mine and yes. Balaji has picked up Afridi. Pakistan lose their ace opener. Well, seems like it's going to be Sachin Tendulkar's day. He's taken a very important catch. And he had all the time in the world to think about how important this catch was. Look at the time that he had. He came under the ball, called its mine, and a safe catch to get rid of Afridi. 68 for one. It's Abdul Razak who has taken the position as a number three batsman. Pakistan have got their work cut out in this game. 
They want this momentum that has been put forward by Shahid Afridi to carry on. Hence, Abdul Razak. Very risky is Salman, but that's a nice shot. Beautifully put away. He's so natural with his uh, hands and eyes. Great coordination between hand and eye. And that shot, he just stretched at the ball. Beautiful shot. Well, it's been very impressive as a batsman, Salman, but a lot of bottom hand involved in his stroke play. again Abdul Razak taking the longer route to get back for that single doesn't always run straight in a straight line Here you see him uh, trying to come round the bowler oh that's a great shot stand and deliver what a shot to finish the over. 86 for one. Again, good timing. Did only a single. In fact, good stop there by Balaji. The ball was uh, running downhill. I think uh, the position Pakistan are in and the target they're chasing, they have to keep taking chances. Have a look here. This was, was was just rolling downhill. Gets his hands uh, just in the nick of time. take the chances against the fast bowlers because the ball is coming off the track relatively quickly and that'll mean that uh, they should be able to place the ball into the gaps and pick up boundaries it's not going to be easy against the spinners that was nicely struck and good fielding and who else Mohammed Kaif He plays the shot well. Once again, so risky. Get a boundary for it. And the hundred comes up. Is Ganguly chasing? Two minds there. Should I dive? Should I not dive? In the end, uh, went down late. And literally took the ball over the fence. Cricket, good placement. He's batting very sensibly out there, Salman, but he's on 46, 14 gone, 103 for one. The reason why he's been brought back, brought into the attack earlier on by the skipper doesn't have more confidence in Sehwag bowling in, in him in the depth of the innings he's quite comfortable bowling uh, Yovrat Singh, Sachin Tendulkar and the captain of the Indian team wants four or five quick good overs from Virinda Sehwag and what the Pakistani batsmen they really have to do here is should look to go after him should look to pick up a boundary in every over, at least when Verinder Savag is in attack. Oh, 
47 not out. 51 goals uh, for his 47. Zak, we all know that as long as he's there, he's a dangerous player, he's a very good striker of the ball, he can turn it on at any stage. He's just biding his time at the moment. Oh! That's a good shout, very good shout. And Karthik strikes straight away in his first over. It's good bowling by the left arm spinner. Pitched on middle, middle and off and just seemed to straighten a bit. And that's an important wicket taken, Salman, but... He was looking to play the sheet anchor's role, he's gone now. Well, that's a brave decision from the umpire. It was the arm delivery, the angle was taking the ball towards the off stump or maybe outside the off stump. And their premier left arm spinner has struck Salman Butt, who is in form batsman for Pakistan. He perishes, and Pakistan losing their second wicket for 107 runs on the board. Ninety-seven matches for Shoaib Malik. And he comes out to bat in number four. Oi, Just two off the over and a wicket. That's 109 for two. Oh, so Yuvraj Singh continuing. Uh, go through for a single on that occasion. 121 for two in the commentary box. Sanjay Manjweka is with Ramiz Raja. Thank you, Ravi. Both spinners for India, left arm spinners, and looking to bowl a steady spell here. He's very happy bowling over the wicket, Yuvraj Singh. Not a big spinner of the ball, so he always looks for any kind of rough that can assist him in just, uh, turning the ball. So whenever he looks to bowl his left arm spinner, very often you'll see him bowl over the wicket. And that's why he's always uh, more effective when he's bowling second in a one-day match. I think this is a very smart move from Saurav Ganguly. He knows that Abdul Razak is not very special against spin bowling. He's brought in Yuvraj Singh, who's uh, a caretaker, not a frontline support. And he's done a very fine job. Malik also wants the ball to come to him more easy against the seamers than the spinners. So this is a good move. <laughs> Nothing to write home about against the spinners. One twenty-five for two. Let's see over. It's again that same mindset that we've seen in the series, but India have got 315 on the board. They just want to defend that. They're not thinking about a particular Murli Karthik could uh, take the wicket of Razak or Shoaib Malik. He's just keeping things quiet with that knowledge that he's got 315 runs on the board. Be called wide. As long as Pakistan do not lose a wicket at this stage, they'll be pretty happy with this because no pressure has been exerted by India. That's the point I'm making, Ramiz. You've got a pitch here that is clearly good for spinners. You're batting second, you put up a huge total on the board. This is the time the spinners 
have to play an attacking role. Murli Karthik is also bowling over the wicket, bowling a defensive line. There is no endeavour here to take wickets. And if Pakistan don't lose wickets and they keep picking up runs like this, five or six runs and over, the required it will continue to be six and a half. And then it could get dangerous. The spinners are in the team on a pitch that has turned and it They've got to take wickets. That's why Danish Kaneria was so important for Pakistan. He also wasn't used rightly by Inzamam. Great shot. Excellent shot there. On a slow pitch, we really need to get power from somewhere to play that kind of shot. Now this is good cricket from Abdul Razak. Not only a beautiful shot through the offside, but he, the pair had picked up singles before hitting this boundary in this over. So the pressure mounting on the home team. Yours. It's 140 for two. Gonna look for two. Good return. This could be close. And maybe he's run out there. Murli Karthik is the fielder from the deep with an excellent return. Wasn't the perfect throw on top of the bales, but very close to the stumps. And Mahindra Singh Dhoni may have done the job. It's Abdul Razak who is not as quick between the wickets as Shweb Malik. Very good throw from uh, the deep. And I think he's made it. I think he's just made it. Very difficult really to judge from this angle. Dhoni who collected the throw. On the bounce. He broke the stumps but I think he's in. May have just taken the sting of the shot. Ashish Nehra, the fielder, and he's conceded an extra run. That should have been two. Brings up the 50 runs partnership, but that's an extra run given by Ashish Nehra there. In the air, just out of reach of Ashish Nehra. Zahir Khan would have felt maybe another fielder would have had a chance, but I think uh, it wasn't really going into his hands. Just out of reach. Well, this is why Zahir Khan was brought in as a star of Ganguly. And there you see him almost crying in anguish. He was expecting better result from Ashish Nehra. Better try. So, India need wickets. Eight wickets in hand, two batsmen well set. These two have already Shabash, added 67 guys. of just 66. Bowling well, bowling well, Absolutely, Ravi, they're just walking through their singles and they're walking through the match. They really now need a wicket or two, India. That should be four. No, it isn't. Couldn't quite get the placement right. As we heard Sanjay Manjrek a little while earlier, he was in commentary with Ramiz Raja talking about the spinners. There's no doubt they've been disappointing today. The runs are coming uh, far too easily. It's not been tight enough for them to... Uh, they've not been tight enough to be able to apply the pressure. There's been a couple of loose balls every over to relieve the pressure. You can see 73 singles, but uh, in between that, uh, 13 boundaries, a couple of sixes. So they've run well between the wickets. They're just knocking the ball. Too many singles, too easily to be uh, taken. And really, from here on, uh, Pakistan required to just play good common sense cricket. Actually, they should. They need to just carry on doing what they have been doing. They've played common sense cricket so far. They haven't panicked. 300. And 16, the target was always a daunting one, but they've come out and played it perfectly. And now they're just not putting a foot wrong, they're not taking any risks whatsoever. Now, 
I think there's some thinking for Saurabh Ganguly to do now. He's got to block the singles. Let them go over the top. But if they carry on taking the singles, he's not really going to dent them. And I think he should have done that at least seven or eight overs earlier, Arun. Have maybe five men in the ring instead of just the four. Uh, when you're defending such a big score, you should be able to bowl to five men in the ring. 178 for two. Just chipped in the air, just clearing mid on. Two runs comfortably taken. It's 183 for two. The target 316 to win for Pakistan. Remember, they've never chased 300 and won a game in the history of one day internationals they played. There's always a first time, they're on target at the moment. He goes for the big one, he's hold out. A full toss from Tendulkar gets a wicket. Well, would you believe it? He's batted so well. His eyes lit up when he saw that waist high full toss. And all he's done it, hit it straight down the throat of Murli Karthik in the deep. I can't quite understand. They fancy themselves clearing the field. There's a deep fielder there. Enough time to really place it. But he goes right at Karthik, straight into his lap. So that is a big disappointment as far as Pakistan is concerned. This is just what the Indians wanted. 44 for Razak, it's 183 for 3. In Zamama comes out to the middle. Pakistan's most experienced player. That's in the air and put down. Yuvraj Singh seemed to have it under control and just grabbed it in the end. He can't believe it. It was straightforward for someone as good as Yuvraj. This is a real let off for Shoaib Malik. This, well, it's almost too easy. Didn't get off the ground too much, but they can't believe it. Somebody like Yuvraj, this was a really easy take. Could this be the turning point in this game? Malik's a dangerous player as well. Now that's adding insult to injury. Catch put down. Next ball goes to the boundary. I wonder what happened there with that catch. Yuvrat Singh just can't believe it. Could it be uh, Aruni expected the ball to come a lot quicker to him? He's already on 39 of 37. He's not taken too many chances, just the ones and the twos. We know he can play the big hits against the spinners later. The Indians shouldn't let their shoulders droop. It happens a long way to go in this game. They still need 6.61 runs and over. They'll definitely get one, and they're going back for the second. So, two runs, three and the over, 199 for three. Unless it's short, and it's dispatched, but only for one on this occasion. But the point is, they've got to now do something different. Maybe abandon this line and come back over the wicket, get a slip in, make make something happen Ravi at the moment they're just waiting for things to happen or even get a long on up to mid on now for Inzamam he's only on eight let him go over the top against the spin well, he's capable of doing it but you want him to do it take the risk and what should be worrying for India is without taking risks they're still getting six seven runs and over Has 
leaves the pitch misled us into believing that chasing 300 would be impossible. Made it in Zamam. There's a run scoring seems like it's pretty easy out there and uh, they're getting that required run rate quite comfortably. Slow ball and it's put that away. Four more to Pakistan. Well, it's that stage where the Indian ballers, they really have to take their chances. And as a bowler, if you start taking too many chances, there is every possibility that there's going to be a full toss, long hop, bad delivery. And that's where the Pakistani batsmen, they can really capitalize. There it is, 50 for Shoaib Malik. Second consecutive 50 for Shoaib Malik in this competition. Bob Woolmer is pretty pleased. And so is the young man. Great shot. And brings the 50 partnership between these two players. And Zamam along with Shoaib Malik. Have a look. The difference of the ball, as you said, it's a newer ball, harder. And look how quickly it travels the third man. Beautiful shot. He'll make you pay for that. Yes, you're looking for a wicket. That should be four. Wide down the leg side. And just thumped on its head by Inzamam. Trying to give the tweak to the ball. He was looking for the rough area just outside the leg stump, but the line wasn't right. Well, this time he's gone inside out and maybe he's got his man. He has. Murli Karthik coming round the wicket has got his man. Wanting to play it inside out, did connect it well, Malik, but couldn't quite, fi quite find the gap or the fence. Well, India have got their wish. They got rid of a set batsman. This should help to slow down the scoring rate. Not a great shot from Shweb Malik in the end because there's a fielder there at long off and a good catch by Balaji under pressure. He was and he uh, in the end was as cool, as calm as a cucumber. Gone for 65, 253 for four part. There's a little bit of turn that's gone away again. Fine. Third man. That'll run away for four. But at least something's happening. A little bit of turn from round the wicket for Murli Karthik. The more orthodox plan of trying to get your batsman's wicket rather than waiting for him to make a mistake. Spin coming a little too late in the day. He's in his ninth over. That ball gripped and spun. It's in the air, fielder getting under it, and they've got their man. Wicket number five goes down. Could we be seeing a change happening here? Yusuf Johanna walks back, sucked into that pull, straight down Balaji's throat. Now, this is excellent cricket from Zahir Khan. This is attacking cricket from India. After bowling a slow delivery, he got this ball at the right area. The bouncer bowled to perfection and everything working well for India. The plan pulled into place and it has come off. Balaji holding on to another special catch. Gone for 11, Pakistan 65 for 5. New man in, Yunus Khan is walked into a match that could be turning. Plays that fine, as was expected, and will come back for the second. He plays this shot well, Yunus Khan. Saurav Ganguly trying to calm the nerves of his players, especially of uh, his bowler.
just a little frustrated. In the air, but he's found the gap, just eluding the mid-off fielder. They've got two, and they want to come back. That can be close. Has they got his man? That is a lovely throw, right into the hands of Zahir Khan. They ran two, they didn't expect to go for the third. Ashish Nehra was a little tardy, releasing the ball, but once he did, it was really on target. Indians are hopeful. Yunus Khan is gone. He's shot at the crease. There you see the stumps broken. He's trying to drag the bat, but uh, not in time. The red light will come on. A huge wicket for the Indians. Absolutely needless from Yunus Khan. But India need a bit of luck, and it has come their way. 35 more from 37 balls, but Another wicket has gone down, that of Yunus Khan. In the end, good fielding from Ashish Nehra. He's been just a little lazy in the outfield. This time, the throw was pretty good. He chased it aggressively. His mates calling for bowlers and bowlers and two at the right hand. And there, Zaid Khan made sure that he dislodged the bales just in time. Gone for seven, Pakistan. Six down now for 281. He wants one and he's got to have to hurry. That's a direct hit. And I think they've got their man. That is another splendid Ashish Nehra throw. It's going to be tight. Body language suggests that the Indians feel that they have their man. We'll wait and see. The expression suggests that he's a goner. It's Ashish Nehra who's hit the bullseye and he's clearly shot. Shot by a good yard or so. Another run out. In India not panicking under pressure it is pakistan who are wilting under pressure he is walking back dejectedly pakistan 295 for seven crowds can sense a kill well there was really no need for a run like this played it straight into nera's hands and then just took off Good bounce for Nehra, collected it well, and then Bullseye. Wonderfully done. Pakistan have lost their seventh for 295. Kamran Akmal gone for 10, 295 for 7. He's played it fine, that'll run away for 4. A welcome boundary for Pakistan. Also brings up the 300, 301 for seven. Three runs to get. Inzabam has gone for it. And he comes back for the second. The scores are tied. Inzabam not out 56. He's in strike. Last ball. And it's through. Inzabam has done it. That is a splendid effort by Inzabam ul Haq in Pakistan for the first time in their cricketing history they have achieved a target of over 300 runs to win a one-day international this is smashing stuff from Inzumam Mulhak he did not lose his cool his stature his temperament and when it came to hitting that ball in the gap he was up for it it was a team effort right from the first batsman till the last one everyone tried to contribute great contributions from the top and middle order and in the end it was this man in Zamam Mulhak 60 from 59 balls played well with the uh, with the frontline batsmen played brilliantly with the tail enders and in the end a deserved victory for Pakistan. Well, that's the bowling card for you. Seven bowlers employed, 10 for Zahir Khan, 10 for Karthik. Those are the two who finished their quota, nine for Nera and two wickets for Karthik, one for Zahir, one for Balaji, one for Tendulkar. Tendulkar bowled the last over, almost did the start turn there, but not quite. Pakistan winning this match. At the last ball, they were tied till the last ball. And that's the mini card for the match, the match summary. India winning toss, an important toss.
Overs reduced to 48, scoring 315 with a magnificent 123 by Tendulkar, 47 by Dhoni. Three wickets for Malik, though a little expensive. Pakistan in reply, always an uphill task. In 48 overs needed 316, ended up with 319 on the last delivery of the game. Malik with 65, Inzamam with a captain's knock, 60 not out. And of course, that man Butt on top got 48. So Inzamam with 60 of 59 remaining not out and taking his side across the finish line. Two wickets for Karthik, one for Tendulkar and one for Balaji. Pakistan have well and truly come back into this series, leveling it to all and winning this match by three wickets. The man of the match awards 60 of 59 balls in a real pressure.